I'm Sam Popkin. I'm a professor of political science at UC San Diego, and I'm the author of The Candidate, What It Takes to Win and Hold the White House. If President Obama called me and said, what's the most important advice you can give me? I would say, start having debate prep sessions as soon and as often as possible, whether they're five minutes or five hours. The reason is when you're president, as Richard Worthland wrote about President Reagan, nobody questions your motives. And you think you know everything going on in the country, and you think you're hearing from people how they're really feeling. You're not. You're the emperor. You're the emperor's new clothes, and you don't know whether you're naked or not until somebody looks you in the face and says what they're saying around the country every day on the campaign trail. When I played Governor Reagan in the practice debates with President Carter, I was shocked. It took me 30 years to write about it. I would say things to the president that Governor Reagan was saying every day on the stump. And the first day he wanted to quit debate prep after 11 minutes. He turned red. I thought the Secret Service would kneecap me if his wife, if Rosalind Carter didn't. Um, it was, he, it, it may have been content he was aware of, but having it said to your face when you have to reply, you know, the first time you look at the president and say, the symbol of this administration is the president's finger pointing at somebody else. The president takes a deep breath and looks like, oh my God, how can anybody say that to me? There's something uncomfortable. I'm working for the Carter team. I'm writing some of the material for President Carter. Now I'm up there as Governor Reagan, and I'm told, do everything you can to win the debate. So. The Popkin playing Reagan wants to win the debate, but the Popkin writing material for president wants the president to beat Reagan. So whose side am I on? My side or my side? I have, I believe, the only copy of the tapes, and I certainly would never put the tapes on video, but I had them scientifically analyzed for the emotions he was showing by people who were trained to do that with the sound off. And I realized that Every other president since has had the same problem in debate prep. President Reagan had trouble. Both President Bushes had trouble. President Clinton blew up at one of the sessions. You know, it's not easy to have somebody look and say, you lied, you cheated, you stole, you have no character. Nobody can believe a word you're saying. You, you can say that now, but we know you don't mean it. You're not used to that when you're supposedly the most powerful man in the world.